salve for Let me see. Stop. Yulia. Oh, poor guy. My uncle was a victim at rheumatism's altar. I'll go, but once I'm done... Well, all right, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Wolf P.S. That's... What? Why do you... I know. Please. I'm sorry. Please. Help. <laughs> you... Well, you don't under... It's too... If I backed out now... Oh, really? That changes things a little. But we're still in debt bondage to that monster. Unless you happen to have 2,000 denarii to... Really? Wait. So, I guess you'd want me to work for you then. You'd... do that for us. It seems today... we're both blessed. Thank you, friend. Thank you. I'll go and pay off our debts immediately. Ah. And there it is. Scintilla and I were in love. And then, 22 days ago, she went missing. All right. One night a few months ago, when I was cleaning Maliolis's villa, I heard a young woman singing. I wasn't allowed out. So once everyone else was asleep, I climbed up the inside of the villa and onto the roof just to see where that sound was coming from. And that's when I saw her. Standing in the garden of the magistrate's villa, I just sat there on the roof, listening to her with my chin on my knees. And then she looked up and saw me and... She smiled. <laughs> And from the moment she asked my name with this warmth and curiosity, I knew I'd have done anything for her. And so for weeks on end, each night I'd climb out of the villa and into her father's garden. We'd hold hands and talk about all the things we'd do once we got out of here. Like having our own vineyard. And then one morning I woke up and everyone was out searching for her. They said she'd vanished in the night. All I could do was keep my head down and try to hide how beside myself I was. Centilla was the one thing that made my life bearable. But with her gone, things unraveled quickly. All I know is she loved me. 
She'd never have taken her own life. And there's no way anybody could have killed her under the golden rule. I can't prove it, but I just know she's still alive somehow. Somebody abducted her. My guess? Maliolus had something to do with it. I have no idea where he'd be keeping her, but there is one room in his villa, upstairs, which is always locked. I've never seen the inside of it, and I haven't been able to steal a key without breaking the golden rule. But I have a feeling that if you could get in there somehow, it would shed light on a great many things. Let me know what you discover. I'll go and take care of things with Maliolus and tell Yulia the good news. What you did was extraordinary, and... Ah. you to thank for saving Julia's life? Uh, what demon or spirit told you about that? You went snooping in his place? That was risky. Have you spoken to him about it? Really? Ah, uh, poor fellow. Really? That's promising. I'll keep an eye out for him. Well, Maliolis is talk. My vote. Nice to talk.
comes back. I'm Centella. I found a way out through the Gate of Horn, but it's locked. So I told him about it, and instead of helping me escape, he locked me up. He wants to keep us all here forever, or until we're turned to gold. I don't know. He said the gods are on his side because they don't want us to escape either. Sentius, my adoptive father. Furies help me. I'll castrate and crucify him. I'm going to take that key from around his neck. I'm done caring about the golden rule. I just want out. There won't be enough time. Just you and me. What do you say? There's no time. Wait. Did you hear that? He's here. What? No! It's no use. You're making a mistake. You're back. Oh, thank you. Now follow... Wait. Did you hear that? He's here. He must be coming in through the door behind me. You distract him. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. What did you do with Centilla? Where is she? So that is how it's going to be. It's a shame, really. If you'd just done what you were supposed to, you'd have been looping through time forever until you gave up and killed yourself. Just like that soft-hearted pleb, Al. Come now. Surely you didn't think you were the only one here who remembered everything. You see, my connection to the portal somehow preserves my memories from one to the next. Whether that was Proserpina's intention or a happy accident, I'll never know. But I'm surprised you hadn't noticed. Here I was, thinking you were a little bit sharper than Al was. Or perhaps you're just more willing to break the rules. 
he was a moralistic fellow, never once compromised on his principles. And because of that fatal flaw, he relived this day many thousands of times before we finally had this conversation. I watched him come through the portal each time, always a little older, a little more disheveled, a little more haunted. And when he finally saw the futility of it all, as you're about to, it broke him. He drank a jug of wine, tied a noose around his neck, and took his own life just before he was shot with a golden arrow. The next time I awoke, you showed up, but you, you've caught up to where he was so quickly. I'd have preferred if you'd given me more time to enjoy the trappings of my success. How many extra days did you give me? Just the eight? Not a lot compared with Al, but I've seized every day, nonetheless. In any case, there's no escape for you except the path that Al took, the path he wrote about on his tablet. What was it? Ah, yes. Better to end it all now than find out what awaits you beyond that portal. So, you discovered my secret. So what? What are you going to do about it? Of course. There's no way you could have succeeded. Every soul who has ever found themselves here has broken the golden rule eventually. It is inevitable. Man will always sin sooner or later. As I told you the first time we met, I found a way to cheat death. By reliving the same day over and over again forever. And I will continue living long after your dust. Why? Isn't it obvious? Because I have grown attached to all this. And as long as this day keeps repeating itself, I get to enjoy it all, over and over again, for eternity. Don't you see? I have found a way to prolong my life indefinitely, to cheat death. I have become, in effect, as immortal as the gods. Can you honestly say you would not wish the same for yourself? Do you really think you can take on a Decurion with that flimsy little bow? Who? Centilla? Where is she? I'm right here, father. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I was in here alone. I'm Al. Well, here I am. Funny you should ask. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, trying. My Latin is kind of rusty, but the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shrine of Proserpina. Freed an imprisoned woman named Centilla, who then murdered her captor, breaking some kind of ancient law. It said the attack caused golden statues to come alive, hunting down everyone in the city and turning them into gold. Apparently, the only person to survive was Centilla, while the stranger disappeared in a flash of light. Uh, what? Uh, I'm sorry, come again? Um, let me see that. God, why does this writing look so familiar? I've spent a lifetime in this place going around and around in circles. This is... This is disturbing. I... yeah. So you're saying, because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it, and that's why I don't remember any of this. 
I guess you saved my life then. Maybe we can escape through the same aqueduct Santilla used, if we can find it. Pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured into this temple. You're back, but you're alone. Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much. Why don't you tell me what you discovered? While we wait. Really? Ow! It's so good to see you. Kinda lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. And there was a tablet describing an event 2,000 years ago. Supposedly, the city was destroyed when a woman murdered a tyrant with the help of... Well, my new friend here. I know how crazy that sounds. Maybe not that crazy. That woman. I don't suppose her name was... Centilla? How could you... What? She left a tablet of her own. I stumbled across it while I was waiting here. I think she meant for you to read it. Here, take a look. I don't know what became of you, or if you'll ever read this. But I want you to know that I will never forget you, or what you did for me. It pains me that so many dear friends were not so fortunate. Ulpius, Sentia, Lucretia, Horatius, Galerius, poor Dooley, and the others. But please understand, their blood is on my hands, not yours. I will live with the consequences of my actions, and all I can do is move forward, trying to show others the same compassion you showed me. I promise you, that saving my life will not be for nothing, Centilla. Sounds like you meant a lot to her. You two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I... ferry you back to civilization? Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home?
Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. Another one fresh out of the bar. Oh, I wish her. Oh. Oh, really? That commoner in debt bondage next door thought he could win over a magistrate's daughter. That's awfully bold of him. I can see why she worked so hard to keep it a secret. Oh, I see. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Oh no, that's Centillus. The question is, what was it doing in the cistern? A skeleton? What do you mean? But didn't Domitius say there's some kind of creature down there that killed and ate Hannibal? What are you saying? That somebody crept down there and put Centilla's amulet on another body to make us think she was dead? Why would anyone do such a thing? But who? That is an extremely serious accusation. So this is just baseless speculation then. I've heard enough. Kindly keep your insane conspiracy theories to yourself. This is a rather strange first impression, but now you're probably wondering why I summoned you. We have? I must have entrusted... Is that about... Seems rather brash. Me? <laughs> you know, you remind me of him. Al. Come now. You see, Mike... But I'm surprised you hadn't... He was a... And be... I, and the neck... I mean... N and yet... Because... So... You dis... Why? And I... And why would I... The only way you're getting this key is over my dead body. And if I die, I won't be able to open the portal for you again. Meaning you'll have created a paradox. You see, it was my actions that brought you to this point in time. So if you kill me, you'll stop me from doing so. And you being here will be an impossibility. That means if I die, you'll be flung back to your original time, having caused the deaths of everyone here, and you'll never be able to undo it. You might want to think that through. Ugh. You and your pathetic morality. No, understand that to me, you've never been anything more than a useful idiot. I certainly hope not. In fact, I want it to go on and on forever until you wither and die like Al did and the gods send yet another useful idiot to extend my life for me. We both know you're not that stupid, so, but believe me when I tell you, the gods don't care about you, and neither do I. Now, get out of my villa. Citizen. Don't be so foolish. If you kill me, we all die. And if I... You see, that means... Now, get... shall suffer for the sins of the one.
Well, here I am. Funny you should ask. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. It described an event and murdered a local magistrate, breaking some kind of ancient law. It said that the voice of a furious god rang out, and the ground trembled and statues sprang to life, firing arrows at the city's inhabitants. Apparently, as the citizens screamed and died in pain, the stranger just vanished in a flash of light. Uh... Uh... Um, God, why did... This... I... So you're saying, I guess, to let me die, I can't see how I could possibly find one now, so it seems like we're both going to die here. A mistake? You murdered a man in cold blood, and now there's a city full of dead people. And it's only a matter of time before we join them. I guess all those old Latin inscriptions were right. Pro peccata unius multis dolabat. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one.